Hey guys, the Bodacity here. Uh, just bringing a really quick tutorial to you guys because you guys don't really need a lot of detail when it comes to this. But um, I was asked by a user, uh, Royce Originals, in fact, uh, good guy. You should check out his channel. It's right here, by the way. Um, asked what are some of the best export settings uh, for YouTube, and um, I, of course, use Final Cut Pro X. So I thought, hey, I'll just show all you guys here in Final Cut Pro X. So uh, this is going to be a quick tutorial um, uh, so that you don't get those large file sizes that you would get from a normal um, export mode from Final Cut. So here you can see I've got a um, a background sort of replacement thing, that uh, smoke fog layer that you can use, uh, just basically a stock footage sort of thing. So you would take this and um, you have whatever your file is, this one's about 30 seconds long and then you would come here to the share button so you click on the share and then you get all these choices because actually make sure that your uh, Final Cut Pro is updated when you get to this point because it actually is um, different in the most recent update because um, now you got these choices here to do this there used to be a share button up here in the top but now there isn't anymore so you have these YouTube, Vimeo, Facebook um, ways of doing it. I personally don't like those because if you ever get to a point where you're in um, your uh, setup and you get uh, more choices on YouTube, you're going to want to be able to control a little bit better than just sharing straight from YouTube here. Um, I usually choose master file because I like to keep a master uh, final mix down uh, on camera, or no, on, um, on my computer, sorry. And so um, this here, we'll click on master file. Now you're going to come up to this thing here. It'll be whatever your new project is. Um, I have it. And then you come over here to, sorry, and you come over here to settings. Right now it says 184 megabytes estimated. Now there is the settings here where you can video codec. This is where you need to go to make the file size smaller uh, if you don't have compressor. Because I don't. Because I'm a cheap person. But that's okay. So, um... You have all these choices here. ProRes 422 is what uh, Pro, uh, what Final Cut Pro does all of its setups in. Um, this is just the best for editing and everything like that. Now, um, I already did a ProRes version here, so let's go over and get info on that ProRes version. And it says 153.3 megabytes. So that's pretty big, uh, especially for only a 30-second clip. So what if I took this and go to here, H.264. This is the perfect one that I've found for YouTube. Just really good. Um, there's some really technical things about what happens. So basically what happens, anything that is static in the image that you guys um, are filming from, it kind of creates almost like a still picture idea. So it saves a lot of uh, memory that instead of like a full-fledged video. So look at this. It just already estimated our file size to be 35.8 megabytes, which is great. That'll be a lot, lot smaller, a lot easier to upload to YouTube. So you just click here on Next. I'm going to call this uh, H.264. So I'm gonna, it's sharing now. We can go over here to look at our sharing window. One of the nice things actually about the new setup here in Final Cut Pro is that things export slightly faster. I'm not exactly sure if it is, but it feels like it goes faster. So there you go. There's your rendered out settings. Here's H.264. Let's get info here and we'll set it up next to that one. H.264. Look at that. 9.9 .9 megabytes. That is amazing. You just saved yourself 145, 146 megabytes. I mean, that's just incredible. Um, so, for those of you who are trying to upload to YouTube all the time and keep having issues with um, too large of file sizes just because it's just your render settings. Um, so, when you end up putting out a file, make sure to click, go here to, again, share, master file, settings, H.264. Now, um, again, if you do choose YouTube, it will be actually a better um, setup for it. It, that is the best, and it'll take less render times when it's uh, or um, processing times when you get into YouTube. But H.264 is the way to go uh, if you want a master file of your own. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and leave a comment. Um, questions, always ask me questions. Uh, I have my Twitter page, my uh, email address. Those should be popping up. And... Um, yeah, guys.
Make sure to let me know what you guys want to see next. If you have any questions, make sure to ask me. Sayonara.